Hello guys, what's up? Finally, we are back with Houdini Tutorials. Welcome back to my channel VFX World. My name is Rajat. So today, whatever we're creating that is completely inspired from this amazing output from Avengers Infinity War. So without wasting any more further time, let's get started. So right now we're in Houdini. Basically, we're trying to create this kind of things. You can take any static animated object, I mean rigged object. So uh, first of all, let's start with taking a new complete blank scene. So this is a complete fresh new Houdini. So first of all, what you have to do, we have to take by pressing tab here. We are taking a geo means geometry. Just select and release it here. This will be your geometry. Double click to go inside. And here we are taking alembic file. You can use FBX file as well. Just press tab and take al alembic just like this release it here here from this area you have to import your 3d animated object what you can do you can simply download any fbs object and you can convert it into in alembic.abc and then you can just import it here so this is our animated object which is just like this and this is already pretty very very big so what do you have to do first of all you have to decrease the frame rate so this is 120 and now what you have to do just select release and press tab and you're taking a transform node here just release it like this select here and from uniform scale i'm taking it 0.05 so it's now become very very small so now after that just take and release and by pressing tab i'm taking a uh, time and then time shift and after that we're taking another node called trail effects and just simply click here and first of all just release it here that's it so now i can see it's when you play this you can exactly see there are two characters it's actually moving both together okay so what you can do you can simply do one more thing just increase this trail length to let's take around five and now when you move this it's become like this this is also another amazing effect if you don't want anything else you can simply render it with this it's like uh, some ghost kind of effects and all and this black thing is actually happened for this cache so you can reset the cache and increase it to let's take around five and after that you just simply see it's over okay this is done okay so now uh, what you can do you can exactly do it whatever you want to do with this effect but after that if you really need to be like if you want this effects should be static here and then the character will moving but the effects will there then you will have to see our video completely okay so now what you have to do we are just select this trail length here from here and then we are taking by pressing shift and then we are taking a dollar sign and then press F then just release it here so it means it's completely become a hold so now when you move here you can exactly see all the frames are right now hold and make sure guys these black things are for the cache so i think this is already start looking nice and after that what you have to do we are taking another node this is a, just a simple null object because that will be your controller so just release it here select right click and then from parameters and channel we are going to edit parameter interface so now we are taking some custom parameters so just go to this integer and just make it to here from the parameter editor description you can name it anything anything like you want if i'm just release it like this and from the range i'm taking it from like one to let's take around 40 from channels i'm making it to let's take around 10 and then simply apply and then accept okay so this is right now our basic default custom controller we have to go to this time shift just click here and double click here, here you can find this frame is right now by default one this is also in one frame if you go forward the frame are also being changing okay so now if you click on this frame just like this you can find this dollar and f so what you have to do we're decreasing the speed first of all so just press a divide and let's make it to 10 so after that make it a bracket this is basically a normal expressions we are using the same kind of thing in after effects as well so now it happened the frames are divided in 10th frame if you want to increase it in 20 then it's also being a slow down your complete animation so now when you play this you can exactly see it is very very slow and if you in decrease it to let's take around 10 only then you can exactly see the animations are very slow more so in this way you can exactly slow down your animation but we don't want this kind of thing so we are adding this on the floor so i'm taking another floor here and you can find the floor double click and release it here so right now what happened this is a very smooth but in flow okay so now what you have to do you are just slow mo the and complete animation now we want to multiply this so just press a space 
and then uh, like star my like multiply and let's make it to 10 again and then simply release it here so now we are slow-mo but we are doing this kind of thing okay so it's slow-mo but still it's multiplied by 10 number speed okay so now what happened when you move here see on 10th frame the animation is changing see nothing is changing and in 10 frame like 20 number frame the animation is moving so in one to 10 9th frame nothing is happening when you go to the 10th frame the animation is changing from first frame and the second frame that's it now when you click here this is completely in zero when you go to the 10th number frame you can exactly see it's become 10 very simple very effective now you have to go back to your frame range here that's it now basically what you have to do you have to take all the controls from this null object so just click on this trail first because whatever you have to see you can exactly see it from this area as well so now just simply click this null and select right click and then copy parameters and just go back to your time shift here and now select this 10 because we are changing the value from this null object then right click and then paste relative reference just like this and select this one also and right click and then paste relative reference so whatever we have changing from here the same thing will be applied here as well so become it's your controller okay so now just play here you can exactly see what exactly happened each and every 10th frame this thing is going good now go to the trail effect here you can see the trail increment is right now by default one and in the null object this is pip 10 so now if you decrease it into one and if you check that right now so you see it's right now becomes very smooth and everything is right now freezed here but this is not our targeted output so just we're taking by pressing tab m-e-r-g-e merge and simply release it here and connect with this alembic one and this one as well and select here and now what you can see just play it here it's exactly look something like this wow amazing isn't it now just go to this null object here if you increase it to like five five is most effective so now if you play this now see amazing isn't it so guys please do comment about your feedback okay so now just go to the last frame to make it cash here and you can change your make your camera positions and all so in this case i am taking this much camera animations positions if you want to do a lot of things you can exactly do and don't forget to tag me after done your complete animations make sure based on your gpu or cpu you just can change the trail cash size here or trail increment or anything if you change the null object from level one it's become very dense here just like this see it's very dense right now okay so now based on your cpu you can exactly do whatever you want to do okay guys so this is it for today i hope you really enjoyed this very simple hoodie tutorial from after a long time and if yes don't don't forget to subscribe to our channel vfx world because we are very close to hit 50k and we are also in all social media handles like facebook instagram LinkedIn, and twitter please don't forget to follow us on over there as well so guys see you in my next video with some more amazing content till then have fun stay home don't go outside keep rocking keep watching vfx Thank you.